Hello, I'm uh, Lars Rossen uh, from uh, Microfocus. I'm a fellow working in the CTO office. And as part of my job as a fellow and, and in the CTO office is to promote various kinds of standards that underpins what we're doing in, in our company. Now, the, uh, the main thing that we're concentrating on is to how can you efficiently help companies in digitalizing your business. But one of the things I've brought to the table, literally speaking, is a three-dimensional representation of the IT for IT standard. Actually, to talk about this standard in a way that non-techies can understand, you need to level it up and become much more intuitive about what is it that we are trying to achieve. So we build it in Lego. Yes, you heard it right. We used Lego. I had a count about how many thousand Lego bricks we're using, as some some ten thousand between ten and thirty thousand, depending on the the version of what we're building, and. Um, and it really illustrates all the aspects of IT for IT, all from plan to build to deliver to running IT services. And it really, really has enabled us to, uh, to get much more in contact with, with the consumers of the standard. So, so the reaction to, to the Lego experience, as we call it, has really been overwhelming. Everybody loves it. Everybody has a positive experience with Lego from their childhood. Everybody wants to know what it's really around. And then you can start talking about the con uh, abstract concepts like value streams and what ties together the various aspects of, of, of IT for the train that runs around the continuous integration when we develop software, etc. So, uh, so that has really helped and people are interested, they want to hear the story and then we can see light bulbs going up uh, when, when, we, uh, when we present it. Another aspect of the Lego experience is that it's based on a standard, right? It's not the microfocus way of, of doing IT management or IT transformation, uh, but we support that standard. So even if you're not using microfocus products, it is still relevant. So that openness is very important to many of our customers and, and in general should be very relevant to any enterprise. It also has other advantages of using these kind of open standards, not only IC for IC, but also TOGAF and Archimate and other things that comes out of the open group, is that it's easier to hire people and, and onboard people that needs to help you because if it's based on standard, there is a likelihood that somebody else actually already know about how you do IT. It creates a common vocabulary that you can be using when, when you speak to each other. And also, kind of because of the rigorous process the standard goes through, it is a good representation of what is best practice in the industry. It represents, in the case of IT for IT, about 100 companies that it's contributed into the standard. So, so it really creates a lot of value for you out of the box. And the open group standards are, are free and open, so what's not to like? <laughs>